Hello there, Dice Tower viewers. I am Chaz Marler of the Pair of Dice Paradise podcast, with the second part of this series about running a gaming group. Part one provided suggestions on finding people to join your gaming group. This time, we'll talk about getting the people that you found to actually show up. At the very first event I hosted for the gaming group that I started, one person attended. We played cards and worked on a jigsaw puzzle. It was of puppies. Since then, the group has grown by about six people per month, and currently it has about three dozen members. So how do you grow your group size? To do so, it is critical to set people's expectations. For example, make a schedule. Check that. Make a consistent schedule. Does your group meet weekly, bi-weekly, every third Saturday during a waning crescent moon? Whatever the routine, make it consistent so that people can plan for it. Some of the meetup groups that I'm a member of are riddled with potential gaming sessions where nobody has suggested a time or a location yet. There's a lot of people that respond saying they're interested, but the event never comes to pass because nobody involved has selected a concrete date. Suggest games. I have found that especially when starting out, it helps to select a featured game or theme as far in advance as possible. It sets the tone, and without it, you may end up with one person planning on playing Shadows over Camelot and another one Scrabble, he said, speaking from personal experience. Finally, as the host, set expectations for yourself. See, at first, you may spend your time teaching from the sidelines instead of actually playing anything, especially if the games you're introducing are new to your group. As a host, your job isn't playing games, it's making people feel welcome especially if they're attending for the first time. But if you focus on creating a fun, friendly environment, the gamers, and plenty of games to play, will follow. 